Hello, this is vlog number one. So I like to start my day by wiping down my desk. I do have cats, even though they're not allowed in here, I still just like keep my desk clean and it's just nice to make sure there's no dust or anything anywhere, but yeah, it's just been my routine the last couple weeks. So first I'm jumping into a order. Someone ordered one of my Phases of the Moon shot glasses, so I'm just stuffing that good and um, yeah kind of figure out how I'm going to wrap it because this is the first time someone wore a shot glass because they are new to my shop. Also kind of a fun fact or just information about me, I work at a warehouse and I drive a forklift but also mainly package orders at a UPS station and um, the company I work for sells lights so very used to making sure things are packed nice and well. And one of the biggest things is making sure there's no gaps in the boxes. That way everything just stays uh, compact and nothing gets to move around. And to make sure there's plenty of bubble wrap because, you know, mail services aren't always the nicest when it comes to your packages. So I've been really enjoying using confetti in my orders. I think I have from the very beginning, maybe the first two orders I didn't. But um, I also always add a sticker. I'm thinking maybe on the back I'll write sticker, that way people realize it is a sticker. But I had a sticker and then my little snowman thank you for the season. And I always write a personalized little note. And this is actually on my own notepad. Well, the piece of paper is on my own notepad available in the shop. And I have my own thank you stickers, finally, before I was just using, well, I still kind of use these thank you stickers I've had for a while. So after I took care of that package, I'm going to hop right into uh, another task, which is making one of my shot glasses. This week I did a new design. It's a very, very simple, like, Luigi planchette. Um, I did have something a little bit more complicated that I recorded, but the details are way too tiny and it would just not work <laughs> for making something small for a little shot glass. And I had a lot of fun with it. One of the things it's kind of difficult when you have your own shop and you love your own items is that you want everything you make. And I have yet to keep anything I made besides something I've messed up. I have two little canvas bags that the um, sublimation didn't come out like the way it was supposed to. So I have those. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them for like eventually when my shop grows if people would want um, things at a very, very discounted rate that something's a little bit off. But yeah, this is me putting it on a piece of transfer tape and then I'm gonna put it on the glass. Uh, again, like I mentioned in my intro video, if you ever wanna see me make a video specifically about how I do something that you see in my vlogs, let me know. I know there's a ton of videos out there, you can figure it out. 
from someone else, but if you want that kind of content from me, I am more than happy to make it. Um, for now, I'm going to be sticking to the vlogs for the most part, unless I decide I want to make something, or unless someone asks for uh, another type video. <laughs> like I just mentioned, if you ask for it, I shall do it. So here we are packaging another order. This is for a design I made. I have like initially made this design from my own t-shirt. I don't sell t-shirts in my shop just because I'm not 100% on vinyl on t-shirts. Like I don't want it to be something that is gonna come off very easily. I don't know. So right now I do not do t-shirts, but I do have this design on a canvas bag. It has like the black zipper. So I make my usual note and um, sometimes I'll add in a little blessed bee moon cat sticker instead of my normal sticker that has like a little quote um, just because the blessed bee is more like witchy and this person ordered something witchy so I decided to give them that sticker and again personal note and um, my little snowman thank you. And my confetti. So I believe this might be another day where I came in and saw different uh, things in this basket that I had to clear out. Um, I do work in eight hour shift kind of job and I'm out of the house for between 10 and 11 hours just because of how far my work is away. So yeah, uh, my clips are kind of going to be everywhere and I might not remember which day it is. So I clear out those and put them in the bin of all my items that are ready to be shipped out. And I had to get these stickers out that I have not listed and also um, do something with the bags that I made. Which I'm not even sure if I made these bags. I'm pretty sure I didn't make these bags this week. I think I made them the previous week. I just never did my usual um, putting them in this plastic bag. I do that just because when I put an item up in my shop, I don't know how long I'm going to have it for. Um, so I'd rather just protect it and keep it in the bag. And it also just makes shipping easier because everything's ready to go. I have my little sticker that says Stars Above Art Studio Canvas Bag. And I have the same one for my beanies. It stars, says Stars Above Art Studio Beanie.
I'm so very sorry for the blurry, out of focus look. Um, I definitely saw it while I was editing, but I didn't want to lose these clips. Um, this is me taking my design and um, since someone already bought a bag, I make another bag to put in stock. And so this is me printing it out on sublimation paper. And this is a ET2720 Epson EcoTank printer that as soon as I bought it, I instead of using the ink that it came with, I use sublimation ink. So this is strictly for sublimation. And then now I'm kind of going through and looking at items that are low in stock. So I'm going to write them down, that way I can work on those. And while I'm editing this video, I have two more things to add to that list to get made and put back in stock, which are uh, both shot glasses. So I like to cut around my image, that way I can center a little bit easier. I still look at the image through the paper, but as you can see it was um, flipped, the design, that way I can, um, when I iron it on, it's not backwards. And then I use this heat resistant uh, tape and 375 for 30 seconds. And this is the easy press, not the largest one, although I do regret not getting the largest one, but you know, it still works for now. And then I personally like to pull it off right away and I don't save the paper. They say you can do more than one, but I just don't want to risk it. One, to waste the material and find out it doesn't work, but also I'd rather just be as dark as it possibly can and not just keep using the same thing over and over. So now I am doing a project on the vinyl, I'm sorry, the Cricut, and um, yeah, I like to look at my mat to make sure my vinyl is big enough when I stick it on the mat to make sure I have enough. That way I don't have to use this huge piece of vinyl. And now I'm going to make one of the items that I wrote down that was low in stock. So I'm pulling away the backing of it and then we are going to turn back on the easy press and get this design printed on a beanie, which as I'm talking, I have to make another one of these. Uh, this was filmed a couple days ago, but I sold another one of these witch beanies. Um, yeah, so I have to make another one. So when I do my beanies, I do the temperature at 400 and I do 30 seconds. I don't have to do as much pressure. pressure blah, blah. I like to take the lint off, press it down, 
and then I realized there was like a little piece of lint that I couldn't like it just didn't want to come off so I just flipped the hat and did that side instead of just constantly picking at it Pretty sure I usually don't tape both sides, so it took me a second there, but uh, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if I could, if I should change anything about how I did this video, how it was formatted, anything. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'm really glad that I made this channel, and I'm really excited to make more vlogging videos, and I hope you subscribe. Goodbye!